The Nova class was, at the time of its introduction into service and until the arrival of the Omega class, the most powerful unit Earth Force had ever fielded. The ships served from immediately before the Dilgar War until after the Earth Alliance Civil War, along the way distinguishing themselves as highly effective and resilient combat ships. A standard Nova variant measures in at 1,112 meters long, is 238 meters wide, and has a height of 258 meters. Armed originally with a mixture of plasma and particle cannon, pulse guns, and missile launchers, surviving ships have been subjected to multiple series of iterative refits to increase their firepower and improve their ability to fight against the threats Earth Force faced in the period of their service. Because humanity lacked the capability to generate artificial gravity at the time of the class's launch, the Nova's crew spent the entirety of their deployment in zero gravity. Requiring frequent crew changeovers to prevent servicemen from suffering the adverse effects from spending much time in such an environment. As a result, the ships did not have tremendous range. Before the 2210s, Earth Force was mostly a small organization best suited to colonial support, exploration, and law enforcement. However, the discovery that mankind was not alone in the universe, that there were many alien races around Earth and her colonies, saw a rapid expansion of Earth Force with several new classes introduced that it was hoped would allow the organization to defend Earth in the event of war against one of these powers. These programs would see ships such as the Hyperion, Star Fairy Aurora, and Nova classes be designed and enter service. The initial batch of Nova class battleships began entering service in the 2220s, just in time to play a pivotal role in the Dilgar War, a conflict which catapulted the Earth Alliance into great power status, the war saw Earth come to the aid of several independent states against the Dilgar, leading to that race's removal from the galactic stage. Post-war refits improved the class's combat effectiveness even further, and Earth Force felt that their fleet had become the equal to any other power in the galaxy. The Earthman-Bari War quickly proving these notions of equality with the great races to be flawed at best. Although like other Earth vessels during the war, the Nova class was unable to effectively target Minbari war cruisers, and suffered horrific losses in proportion to other human ships during the conflict. Thanks to their impressive energy batteries, in the few occasions when a Nova managed to close the range with Minbari vessels and fire using manual control, surprising results could be achieved. Post-war, the Nova was replaced in production by the new Omega class, with the survivors receiving a slew of post-war refits to improve their combat abilities to the greatest extent possible. In this form, the ships would see out the Earth Alliance Civil War and Shadow War before being withdrawn from service at the end of the 2240s. With an impressive combat record and extensive period of service, the Nova class represents one of the first capital ship classes commissioned by the human race. The vessels gave good service and inspired the later Omega class. Overall, an impressive achievement for a ship which was often facing technologically superior enemies.